Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and I am so incredibly sorry for not posting in practically a week. I have had, I've had a rough time for a little bit, okay? I've been having um, a rough go of it the last several days. So <laughs> my mental health was just not good and I didn't want to put out bad content and I knew it was going to be bad if I was feeling bad so I just took a mini break but I'm back and hopefully I'm I'm not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I am getting my second vaccine shot on Friday so let's hope I can post next week. Uh, I'll let you guys know as that progresses but yes I have a video, it's a video I've never done before, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't, I won't do it anymore. You know, you know the drill. If you guys don't like it, I won't do it. Today we're going to be talking about all the manga that I want to read. And I have been in a very big manga mood, primarily because I am in a very bad reading slump. Uh, I think it just is going hand in hand with my mental health. I don't want to read, I'm bored of reading, nothing sounds good, I'm forcing myself to read which is never fun. So instead of forcing myself to read, I've found that I really, I really want to read manga right now and that sounds easy, it sounds fun, it sounds just simple and honestly that's kind of what I need right now. So I've just been looking into all kinds of manga that I want to buy. <laughs> so these are currently on my wish list. I haven't bought any of them yet but I'm hoping to uh, this week because they sound good and I want to read them. Majority of them are horror and thrillers. I think there are a few like two or three that are romance but um, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm like throwing those in but these are all the manga that I want to read so uh, yeah. We'll just start with the one that I actually own and that is Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi. I think I'm pronouncing their name right. <sighs> That's gonna be a, a, a thing in this video. I'm gonna try my best for pronunciations. Um, but yes, I have all five volumes that are out of this series. Uh, I'm holding up volume two. That's because volume one's over there. But I have all five volumes. I have not started this yet, which is annoying because I really want to. I'm hoping to start it today. And I'm just so, so freaking excited about it. Um, yeah, I don't know much about it. I just know it's about a mother-son relationship that seems super normal. And then something happens and it gets weird, I guess, is what I can gather from the information that I've seen. There's not a lot to go on, which I'm very excited about. I like very vague plots. So I I am super interested in this one. I have no idea what it's about, but it is going to be, I think, like a psychological horror, which will be very interesting. So super, 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 super excited for this one. I hope I can read it like soon. Next up is Something's Wrong With Us by Natsumi Ando. <sighs> that could be wrong. It probably is wrong, but this is going to be an interesting one. This is a romance, but it's going to have some thriller aspects, I think. It says it's a spine-chilling, steamy romance, uh, which I'm excited about. It sounds right up my alley, but it is about a 21-year-old woman who is a traditional Japanese sweets maker and she's supposed to be like really 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 good and she runs into this handsome man that she actually knows. The twist is that he framed her mother for murder. <laughs> it sounds so funny but like Oh my god, it just sounds so good. So yeah, she's going to take the opportunity to talk to him and try to get some dirt and information, but also probably fall in love with him. So I yeah, it sounds so fun to me. I don't know. It sounds really not like easy, but I guess just easy. It sounds 
I don't know, does that make sense? It sounds like I could just get sucked in right away and that's something that I am really looking for right now. So I think that'll be like perfect for me. Next up is Inside Mari, I think is the pronunciation. And it is also by Shuzo Oshimi, who also writes Blood on the Tracks. So this story is about a college dropout who finds himself in the body of a young woman who's in high school and yeah I don't know it sounds kind of like a comedy but I was reading some of the reviews not like super hardcore I don't want to know too too much but I was reading some of the reviews and a lot of people said it was more disturbing than um what it sounds like so I'm I'm really hoping that it's gonna have like you know that little cutesy element but also it's gonna be like creepy and weird I don't know, it sounds interesting. <laughs> I've seen animes before where they do the body swapping and I think it's interesting. Um, so I, I don't know, I'm, I'm interested, I'm intrigued. I don't really know too much, but yeah, I'm interested to see what it's about. Next up we have Happiness, also by Shuzo Oshimi. I, I don't know, I apparently just really like the ideas this guy comes up with so that's why I have so many of his mangas saved but this one I also don't know too much about when you go on goodreads um the book description is in uh, Japanese and I I obviously don't know um how to read Japanese so I I guess I could like google it but I'm pretty sure it's about vampires uh, which is intriguing. I don't usually go down the vampire route. It's not usually my thing. I'm not one for vampires. Not because I don't really like them. Well, yeah, it's kind of because I don't really like them. I think they're overdone, but I would like to see it in a manga. I would just kind of like to see how manga and vampires work. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Japanese vampires are like really different from what I know. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just kind of, I'm intrigued. I kind of want to see what it's like. Next up is a non-horror. This one is After the Rain by Jun Mayuzuki. That's probably wrong. That is probably wrong. I should really look up all these pronunciations because I don't think that's right. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one is about a 17-year-old high school student who, uh, is in love with her 45 year old boss. Uh, she works at a restaurant and uh, he's the manager and he's divorced and he has a young son and I don't know, I feel like it's weird but also intriguing to me. I, I've tried some manga before with age gap romances. I don't know if this is going to be a kind of romance where she, the 17 year old, is in love with the older man but he doesn't reciprocate and she's just like not gonna force her anything. Like she's not gonna like stalk him or anything like that. Like I wonder if this is just gonna be really like cute and like sweet almost like not very like creepy and uh disturbing <laughs> because it kind of sounds like that from the plot you're like whoa 1745 you know like that's you know that doesn't sound good <laughs> so i'm wondering if this is going to be more like a life slice of life learning life lessons kind of thing i don't i don't know but it intrigued me and uh, now I can't get it out of my head, so I, I need to know what it's about. Next up is Blue Flag. This is also a romance manga. Uh, from what I can tell, this is like a love, it says quadrangle, a love quadrangle. I, okay, real talk. I love romance, okay? I love romance novels. I love, I, I'm, a, I'm a romance at heart, okay? I love the horror and I love scary and I like, you know, scary, gruesome, dark things. But I'm also a sappy, sappy person, okay? I love romance and I've always loved romance and my favorite trope in the romance genre is a love triangle. I know people hate it and I know it's overdone, but I, I'm a sucker for a love triangle, okay? And when it's a good love triangle, like when it's done really, 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 
really well done, I, I, I'm gonna eat it up. I'm just gonna eat it for breakfast. I'm gonna sit there and be like, yes, give it to me. Thank you so, 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 so much. I am in love. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it coming. Delicious, you know? So this sounds right up my alley. I've heard about most of these mangas, not all of them, but a lot of them from Jordaline, from Jordaline Reads. She, uh, I talk to her on Instagram all the time. She's an incredible sweet person. I love her so much. Uh, you should follow her if you aren't already. You probably are because she's literally a queen, but uh, she's the one that introduced me to Blue Flag and she just had nothing but good things to say about it. I love a love triangle. I love unrequited love. That's my thing. Um, yeah, I think there's even same sex crushes in here, which I am very interested to see as well. So yeah, I, I'm just really intrigued by this one. I think it sounds so freaking cute and um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. So I'll probably just eat it up. Next up we have Dragon Head. This is going to be more on the horror side. I do not know how to pronounce the manga artist's name. I'm not even going to try. I butcher names way too often on here. Um, I really just need to look them up before I say them um, and I did not do that because I forgot. So I am, I, I really, I really don't want to say it wrong. I really don't. So um, it'll be on the screen obviously in the picture with the you know, the cover. So this is about a train that derails and there's only two uh, survivors plus the main character and then they try to get themselves out. I'm assuming that not only are they going to have to like get across the wreckage and get through all that and you know, the natural elements, I think there could be a, you know, a person thing happening. One of the survivors in the group might try to do some bad things. It says, uh, we'll lead one member of the group down a dark and demented path. Maybe we'll see some cannibalism, murder, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it sounds interesting. It doesn't sound like something I typically go for, uh, but it doesn't sound bad, so I would like to check that out as well. Next up is The Flowers of Evil by Shuzo Oshimi. So I actually added this one into the list because I have seen this anime. I watched it, man, a while ago. It's been at least like four years, I believe. I was still in college when I watched it, me and my partner watched it together. He didn't like it as much as I did, but I enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I kind of forgot about it and I kind of forgot that it was a manga and I was like, oh, well, I, here I am checking out manga. I should read it because I really enjoyed the anime. So I think I'm going to pick this one up. I don't know how similar they are at all, like at all at all. I don't know if uh, the plots are going to be completely different because in the anime what happens is this girl catches this boy doing something and she basically blackmails him saying if you don't want me to tell what you are doing uh, you have to do XYZ and you know she blackmails him. I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't know if they're similar or if they have a lot of differences. I'm not sure, but I just remember really liking the anime and um, yeah, I'd like to give the manga a try and see what it's like. Next up is The Drifting Classroom. I feel like when you look up horror manga, this one and then Junji Ito come up. So I felt like if I'm trying new mangas, why not try The Drifting Classroom? I don't know a lot about it. I've heard it's supposed to be very weird. I've heard it's supposed to be like very odd. Uh, it says, in the aftermath of a strange earthquake, an entire elementary school vanishes, leaving nothing but a hole in the ground. While parents mourn and authorities investigate, the students and teachers find themselves somewhere far away, somewhere cold and dark, a lifeless, nightmarish wasteland in which their school stands like a lone fortress. As panic turns to terror, as the rules start to fall apart, a sixth grade boy named Sho and his friends must fight to survive in an alien world. I have heard so many people talk about this one, so many people, and it's been on my radar for a while. I just have never picked it up because the the only manga I really read is Junji Ito, but I'm trying to, you know, just trying to step out of the bubble I'm in. 
And yeah, a lot of people like this one. Uh, it sounds a little strange for my taste, but you know, I'll give it a go. Next up is Erased. I watched this anime and it was, it made me cry. It made me laugh. It made me so anxious. This was such a good anime. It is definitely in my top five animes of all time. We watched it in an entire night. I'm pretty sure we stayed up till like two in the morning watching it because we just couldn't stop watching. We had to know what was going on and I, it, oh my god, it was so good and I have to read the manga. I've heard they are slightly different, I think. I think there are some differences, so I would be so intrigued to know what the differences are. The story is about a 29-year-old man who is basically just, like, barely surviving his life. He's very... He feels like he's in a very monotonous life. There's not a lot going on. He's He works, he comes home. It's the same day in, day out. But he has this thing, I think they call it revival. When a, a, a big event happens, he can go back in time and he can try to prevent that event from happening, like a car accident. He can try to change, you know, something from happening, a big horrible car accident where lots of people die. One thing he could do can change it. When something goes horribly wrong, he ends up going back in time to his childhood and this is where he tries to solve the kidnapping and murder of one of the kids in his class. And oh my god, it is just, it's a whirlwind. It is, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It was such a good anime. I was obsessed with it. I'm still obsessed with it. I highly recommend it. If you like really thrilling, really well done animes, it's just, there's so, so many good characters. The plot's really well done. I don't know. I love it, I highly recommend it, and I really want to read the manga. Next up we have Ichi the Killer by Hideo Yamamoto, hopefully. Uh, I know this is a movie. I know that it's on Shudder, I believe. I haven't seen it, but from what I've heard, this is supposed to be like a very intense, messed up, gory, disgusting, brutal manga. Um, I'm very intrigued by that. Uh, I, I don't really know the plot, honestly. Uh, a lot of the plots I just really didn't pay attention to when I was looking these up. If it sounded good and people seemed to like it, I was like, yeah, adding it to my list. Uh, this one sounds interesting. I don't... I don't know, but it sounds interesting and uh, people said it was really messed up, and that's gonna make me add it to my list. Next up is Miruko-chan. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Again, like I said, I'm butchering all of these, but, um, this one is about a girl who sees monsters, I believe. I think it's gonna be kind of like a cutesy slice of life, but then she also just sees monsters, and I guess no one else can see them. It's just she's the only one that can see them, which I think would be very scary, actually. And the art looks very interesting and detailed and kind of creepy, so I'm hoping, you know, that'll be fun. And I like slice of life mangas and animes, so I think just having like a little element of horror would just be kind of fun. But yeah, that's my list. Uh, there's a lot I don't know if I will eventually read all of these or if I'm just gonna pick some that sound like the absolute best, but this is a list that I came up with while looking at manga that I wanted to try and get into, and yeah, I hope this was fun. I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys read manga or if you even care about manga or you want me to talk about manga. I don't, I don't know. I do like to watch anime. I do like to read manga. Um, I'm trying to get back into reading manga because, like I said, I've only really dabbled. The most I've really read is Junji Ito, but even then, the manga that I did read before Junji Ito was, like, cutesy romance. If you do want to hear me talk about manga and stuff like that, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, 
and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if you like it. So yeah, just let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even if you don't like manga. Um, maybe you will like to try one of these. I don't, I don't know, guys. Okay, this is a random video, okay? I had no ideas today. So I was just like, you know, this sounds fun, sure. So... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed. Think about subscribing to my channel. We can become friends, talk about horror, books, makeup, movies, manga. I try to do different things on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you on hopefully Friday, as long as everything goes according to plan, with a book review Friday. So until then... Bye.